Hello, I am Mac, at least for a day, and today I am on this beautiful planet to showcase Gwenny 1962's creative base. Gwenny is another newer member of the Spacing Guild, and she is a friend of uh, Hope 1431, who I've showcased several of his creative bases. And Gwenny told me about this base, and Hope vouched um, for it, saying that it was a really good base, so we're gonna go check it out it's the planet as you can see has blue ocean green yellow grass doesn't have a whole lot of trees but I did see one tree and it was a pretty neat tropical style tree there's well that's not the tree I'm thinking of but there's some trees there's another kind that I saw earlier but these ones are pretty tropical looking as well. So of course, Saturday, sorry, Sunday we got some new Waking Titan news. Pretty much just a status update and the Myriad website came back up. But I a lot of there was there's like a code that you get when you type in status on the Waking Titan website, but I'm going to predict that nobody's going to be able to solve it because nobody has been able to solve the code yet. And I'm predicting that nothing else is going to happen with Waking Titan until either Friday night or Saturday. I think the fact that they did something on a Sunday just means that they are waking up the community and we will have the real kickoff for this new phase of Waking Titan on either Friday or Saturday because that's typically when they did things in the first Waking Titan was either Friday night or all day Saturday stuff would go on so I'm thinking the reason they did something on a Sunday was just to get everybody alerted to the fact that something's about to happen and then um, it won't be next till next weekend till it really kicks off. So this planet is called Amarillo Armadillo. Amarillo is the uh, Spanish word for yellow. So this planet is called Yellow Armadillo. And as you just saw this base is called Zippity Doo Da, I think or zippity doo da day she's got this neat floating building I'm in looks like a little restaurant or other eating area <laughs> ah. hey kitty I like it when people make floating buildings and ramps leading up to them. Let's go let's go to the two floating buildings and we'll go to the bigger building. Whoops. Ugh, this ramp Keeps making me want to fall off of it. Very nice. Oh no, sun's going down. Typical. Sun's always going down when I'm... You never see it, but a lot of times I will just stand around waiting for the sun to come up before I start a video. Because I want it to be like the beginning of morning when I start a video. But, oh well. Sun's going down. Wait. Oh. Oh wow, there's there's three floating buildings. I didn't realize till now. Haven't been in this one.
Oh, nice. This one has beds. It's kind of like a hotel, I guess. Nice dome. Ah, oh, see, there's one of the trees I was thinking of. Really neat tropical tree. This leads to the landing pad. Oh, it's just two landing pads. Cool. Very nice. stuck in the doorway. Ah, it's because of the save device. So, I'm going to call this I'm going to call this the Ar Amarillo Armadillo Hotel because that's kind of what it looks like and that's the name of the planet and so this has been Gwenny 1962's Amarillo Armadillo Hotel I have been mad oh I want to I want to make a comm station because there was no comm station or beacon to show me where this was so I want to make sure there's a comm station so people can find this again later. I don't know if, she, if Gwenny put this on her member bio or not, the address for this, but if she did, then you can come visit here if she put it up on the Spacing Guild website on her member bio. Um, live in a yellow armadillo. <laughs> this has been Gwenny 1962's Amarillo, Amarillo Armadillo Hotel. I have been Mac. Thank you for joining me for a day. And I'll catch you on the next day that I am Mac.